Meet Bruno Bars, the best robot in the province. Don't believe me? Just watch. Designed, built, and operated by the Our Lady of Lourdes Catholic High School robotics team, Bruno brought home gold at the first Robotics Ontario Championships in North Bay. We take students from transportation, from manufacturing, from computer engineering, and together they put together an amazing robot like this for the challenge. And in North Bay, we, we were able to get all of our, our uh, defects uh, worked out and fixed and everything firing in all cylinders, as I call it. And we were able to clean up in first place in North Bay. Founded in 2008, the Our Lady of Lourdes Robotics team has been working towards this championship for 13 seasons. The team was founded with the goal of preparing students with the skills needed for the workforce of the future. We are preparing students for jobs that don't yet exist. And so through the robotics club, um, students learn all sorts of transferable skills, right? So um, we talk about them as the six competencies and uh, that includes everything from uh, creativity, innovation, problem solving, collaboration. When they're in competition, they also have to quickly um, solve problems and not get emotionally uh, upset. And so there's a sense of self-efficacy that it helps to build. And also uh, one of the competencies is global citizenship. And so they actually work together with other teams, help out other teams, so they, uh, and they have to uh, meet up with other teams and compete as a, a group of teams against other groups of teams. I think, uh, to be honest, I think there was more of a disconnect and you kind of took shop class or you took programming class, but I think the way the world's evolving and now you're seeing like, instead of just mechanical engineering and systems design, you're seeing mechatronics as a new university course. And that's kind of filling this need of bringing all those things together where you kind of can't just have one skill, right? You're kind of bringing mechanical, programming, systems design, electrical all together. So I think they're really getting that in this program as well. Over the years, the team has become an important part of the school's community, bringing together a wide range of students, contributing to charitable fundraisers, and teaching younger elementary age kids as well. The team attracts students with a wide range of interests. This team was different than the sports teams, for example. Uh, I saw the different skills that go into building a robot and the different opportunities I can get from this. I was shown a few videos of the competitions and they looked amazing and I thought, hey, I want to go there <laughs> and I want to learn how these robots work, uh, how code can control something like this. I'm an out of bounds kid. I was originally supposed to go to another high school, but I came to this school for this specific program. I thought it was cool. I could gain skills and like it will open up some doors throughout my interests for my future career and pathway. Everyone brings something to the table, so there's uh, an entry point for every, any student with any skill level. Um, there's a communications component to this as well, and, and so um, uh, even students who are not you know, driving the robot or fixing the robot or programming the robot are gauging other robots during competition gathering information and statistics. So everybody's got a role to play and, that's a, and that builds community as well as a, a cohesive group. Like many things this year, the robotics season was a bit different due to the pandemic. Uh, we've been at home for two years now and no teams were running, no clubs were running. And we realized, you know, mental health is kind of going lower and lower. So we wanted to give the students an opportunity to do something. And it took a bit of convincing uh, to let the school board let us run the team. And then first announced we will have competitions, official competitions. So we signed up as fast as we could. And we went 100% on this robot, uh, get everything done by then. And we, our skills and contributions, uh, time commitments paid off, and it, it was amazing. Lots of jumping and yelling. <laughs> Dominic Robel is the driver behind Bruno Bars' success in competition, although at the start of the season, Robel thought he'd never be the one in the driver's seat. 
I recently turned 16, so I do not have my driver's license, but I hope you don't need a driver's <laughs> license to drive this. <laughs> Actually, the hardest part came at the competition. I had to control my nerves. I had to communicate with my alliance drivers as well. I had to communicate with Laszlo, my drive coach. We had to communicate a lot, like when to climb, when to shoot, what area of the field we would occupy. And it was just a lot of pressure. I ended up coming through with the help of my awesome teammates who cheered me on all the way through. He's an example of a student who excelled when given the opportunity. For us, we've been struggling for a few years and getting this banner is part of the big, you know, Yahoo. And so it, it's important to have a few of these banners around and it's important to, you know, you see the, all the different trophies. We've always been, you know, second place, finalists quality and engineering and robotic like automation awards. We've won so many awards over the year. We've never been that top tier team to pull one off. And this year, our robot and our team has pulled it off. Thanks to Bruno Bars, the Our Lady of Lourdes Robotics team has finally found their treasure. But the real 24K magic is the skills the students have learned and they're more than ready to defend their title next year.